for this week's how-to video on Agriland, we're seeing how to carry out a plant count. So plant counts, I suppose, are seen as a bit of a hassle and I suppose people will be glad to know that there's plant count apps for your mobile devices coming down the line. So in a few years, they'll be a lot easier to do. But for now, I'm afraid we're going to just have to do them the old fashioned way and get down and count. So I suppose plant counts are ideal. I know it's raining today and it looks a bit miserable, but maybe when you're not doing other jobs on the farm, plant counts are a very valuable job to do. Um, so why do we do plant counts? Well, we do plant counts to, um, for a number of reasons, but the main ones I suppose are to get our establishment rates. So soon after the crop's sown, you go out and find out how much of the crop has established. Do them to maybe um, in wet years to decide whether the crop is viable or not. And then also for reasons like to check your seed drill, to check if it's flowing right. And while we're doing our plant count, we'll also see if there's disease on the crop, if there's pests attacking the crop, and we'll see if the crop is tillering. Um, and you know, if you can see if the crop has one tiller or three tillers, you'll decide on your nitrogen rate or your plant goat regulator rates following your plant count. So how do we do a plant count? Well, I suppose the most important thing is to get a representative sample from the field. So you're going to have an apparatus for doing your plant counts. In my case, I just have a measuring tape. You might have a quadrat or some people make up a circle with a piece of hydro air pipe and they know the area of that pipe and they multiply it out to get their meter squared. Basically, when you're doing your plant count, you throw your apparatus into the field, you get um, a random area in the field and you're gonna do that a number of times. So I'm not gonna tell you how many times to do it. It's gonna depend on the size of the field, the crop condition. Farmers know themselves how many times to do their plant counts in their field. But today I'm just using a measuring tape. So the first thing that we have to do is establish how many rows there are across a meter. So I'm just gonna put the tape out to a meter. So there's a meter now. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across the meter. Okay, so we're going to do a plant count now along, along one of the rows. So I'm actually just going to do it to 50 centimeters. So I'll count the plants along 50 centimeters and then the fifth, I'll, I'll be able to multiply that by two and then I'll multiply it by eight to get the amount of plants in a metre squared. So ideally, if you're going to plant, count along 50 centimetres, you're going to do it more often than you would if you counted along a metre. Count the plants along that row. So I have one, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, eight, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I have 21 plants in half a metre. So I'm going to multiply that by two to get my metre. So that's 42. And then I have eight rows. So 42 by eight. I have 336 plants per metre squared um, in, the, in this section. So this is going to have to be repeated a number of times across the field. I suppose the ideal time to count plants is shortly after establishment. But at this time of the year, when farmers might be, um, when crops are grown, farmers are maybe doing counts to see if the crop is viable, there's going to be some tillers. So you have to make sure that you're counting the plants and not the tillers. Because if you count the tillers, you're going to have a lot more plants per metre squared. But it's also very useful, so when you're going along counting your plants, to take note of the number of tillers. Because if you have a small number of tillers, you're going to treat your crop differently. So you might adjust your plant growth regulator rates um, or change your, change your plant growth regulator program. You might decide to change your nitrogen rates. Your plant counts can help you to make decisions. So if, if you're seeing you know, that you have an even crop, um, if you're checking your tiller numbers, you can change your management decisions um, once you've done your plant count. So you might change your nitrogen rate, you might change your plant growth regulator application. But the important thing is, to do the counts to have the information. So I suppose to summarise, your plant counts are, are really useful to get your establishment rates, um, to check your seed drill, and to make, they're essential to make your agronomic decisions. 